The big news for markets overnight was coming out of the Middle East, specifically from Dubai. Dubai World, which is the government investment company, is having a little bit of trouble repaying some of its debts. They hold close to $60 billion worth of liabilities and speculation is rife that they are going to try and delay repayment of this. Dubai has been on a massive expansionary phase over the past few years in an attempt to become a tourism hub as well as a global hub. Property prices have decreased by close to 50% in some cases and they have been grossly affected by the credit crisis over the past 12 to 18 months. Credit default swaps, which are a form of insurance policy from financial markets, have blown out to 580 basis points overnight. This is a huge increase in these credit default swaps and suggests there is little confidence in this repayment going ahead over the next few months. US share markets were closed overnight due to the Thanksgiving holiday. However, there was plenty of action mainly due to the news out of the Middle East. There has been some on-off risk appetite over the past few months, but this was definitely off overnight. European share markets were down close to 2.5% in some cases. With risk appetite out the door, most people were running back to the US dollar. As a result of this, the New Zealand and Australian dollars did grind higher. The New Zealand dollar lost close to 2.5% overnight and was trading at 71.50 on Friday morning. In general, we do see some short-term weakness in the New Zealand dollar, but over 2010, we do expect to see it grind higher against the US dollar. The outlook for the agricultural industry does seem to be quite varied at the present time. For meat proteins such as lamb, beef and venison, the outlook is more traditional given the current economic environment. Demand is down, especially for beef, as people go in search of lower priced protein products such as chicken and pork. However, it is the currency that is posing the biggest problem. Unfortunately, we are unlikely to see the currency move lower over the short term. For dairy, this is not following the more traditional economic environment, given that prices have increased substantially over a short period of time. Prices have increased quite a bit, and this is likely to be the coming from some stock rebuilding. However, prices are sticky, and this poses some good news for the medium term, especially for payout.